Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Monday, U.S. holiday. They're calling it Juneteenth uh, Day. This is new the last few years, uh, but there'll be less liquidity. It's a bank holiday in New York. Um, let's see uh, on the charts. I'll get the brass tacks real quickly. We're going to try and pick up some gold here. Um, between sort of say 55 and 45 today we're also watching carefully to see if this is the turn in yen crosses right uh, sterling yen after um, well, I don't know let's call it 800 points in four days um, is this turning around a little bit made a new high today 180 to 12 just unbelievable shit is just way too high um, 182.12 now we're back down 181.36 looking for places where we can sink our teeth into this um, on the downside don't see any places yet maybe we'll get a pivot down here at 180.87 uh, looking for some consolidation here and maybe a place to get short sterling yen and or Aussie yen all the charts are pretty the same but Aussie yen and sterling yen are the most um, stretched shall we say maybe Aussie yen down through um, 96 72 uh, that might be interesting at the European Open if we get a bit of risk off the other charts that we like Euro Aussie again you can see there's a little bit of a theme here we're, we're bearish Aussie uh, up through 160 looks interesting uh, euro kiwi also interesting this is interesting above 176.30 um, let's look sp specifically at the aussie chart has come down we tried to sell this um, friday at 67 no real love it was on these bars here went down to 55 then we just scratched it uh closed up at 72 but on the delayed sale uh aussie sales coming off here a little bit but nothing really to write home about nothing really to sink your teeth in um, but we are watching this we are watching this for a turn we think equities got very very stretched last week on just a bunch of institutionals not really playing uh, or short and getting stopped out short and getting stopped out uh, and I don't know if it was retail pushing the string I don't know who was pushing that string but um, this move up to 44 93 or whatever that was 93 and three quarters was just silly season right um, and so we're looking closely at this turn we are not short which probably means it is going to go down a little bit easier we got short at 72 um, last week but we cut it at 85 um, like I think a lot of people uh, looks a little stupid now but you know gotta gotta manage your risk this looks like it's turning. Is this going to be an interesting port here, 44.40? We're not saying this is going to collapse. This is probably just 4,400, 4,500 um, for the next week. Uh, you could probably buy it down at 4,400, sell it up near 4,500. But that said, this is maybe putting some pressure on these yen crosses. Uh, we're patiently watching this, seeing if we can create some levels. Otherwise, Euro as a Euro Kiwi, most interesting charts. Um, Euro Swiss weirdly looks big. This, is this become interesting above 98s on teams? Probably does. Um, if you're following the inflation news in, in Switzerland, is pretty benign. Um, Euro Swiss can go higher, I think. It probably is going to touch one sooner rather than later. Anyway, that's all I got. I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow, U.S. holiday today. Be careful of liquidity during U.S. hours. Ciao.